In today's video, I'm going to share with you a fast and easy way to create that clone trail effect using this kit right here, the PivoPod Solo Creator Edition. So the PivoPod Solo Creator Edition comes with a tripod, it comes with the pod, which has the 360 rotation. And the thing that sets this apart from other mobile tripods is that it will follow you. It has auto tracking. So if you're on the go and you need to film yourself and you're moving around in the frame, the PivoPod will rotate to follow you. So you can see here on the website that the PivoPod uses AI technology to have auto zoom. So it'll auto zoom on the subject. It will also have auto alignment. So that way it keeps the person directly in frame. It also has predictive follow. So Pivo knows how to find you if you step out of frame, just like a person that's filming you, and it has target exposure. So even if the exposure is different, it will adjust the exposure to make sure the subject is not too dark or too overexposed. And using the app, you can also create lots of different effects, including the mini me effect, some tiny planets, and the clone trail effect, which is what I'm going to show you in today's video. But the kit itself also comes with a smart video light if you need to light up your face. It comes with two adapters. So you have the action mount adapter if you want to put on an Osmo or a GoPro. And it also comes with the smartphone adapter so you can have your phone on top and film yourself vertically or horizontally. It also comes with a wireless mic. So if you're going to be talking in your video, you can use this mic with your phone to record yourself in a higher quality than what you would get if you're farther away from your phone at a distance. This you can clip right on yourself and use as you film. Let's go to the backyard and see how well the clone trail effect works. So once the Pivo Play app is open, just connect to your Pivo, make sure it's fully charged, of course. And there's a remote. So if you're filming by yourself and you don't have somebody else that's like, you know, working with the Pivo, of course, that's the whole point of the Pivo is so you can film by yourself. So you have this remote so you can control how the Pivo Pod rotates manually if you want to, but you can also program it to just auto track with how you move. And now let's go into special effects. So I'm swiping to the left here and I'm choosing the clone trail effect. I'm gonna change it from 360 degrees to 100, 160 degrees I think is good. I'm gonna do counterclockwise, clone density, we'll do medium. That's how many clones that we want in this case. And then rotation speed, I'm gonna do three. So I'm actually using the remote just to rotate it back and then I'll press the plus icon to get it started. So I'll go ahead and get in position and fingers crossed. So this is the part where I can actually choose the clones. So let me zoom in here, pinch to zoom into the area. And look at that, I need to erase the parts around me. Now this is the hard part, because I can adjust how big I want the eraser to be, for example. So I want to erase the part around my head, but it's not the easiest to do because it's not like I'm at my computer with like a tablet or something. And let's paint my head. have been done better but overall it's not terrible I hope that it will utilize more of the same technology that's in runway ml for video for motion tracking so that way the clones can stay better glued to the ground for more rapid moving shots but overall I think it looks pretty cool and 
I'm satisfied with the results. I also would recommend um, you getting a pen so you can like do more finer selections rather than using your finger where it's a little bit less precise. But yeah, that's it. All right, let's go ahead and pack up and go back to the studio. So I've done the clone trail effect before using After Effects and there was a lot more steps involved and a bit more complicated and the Pivo Pod just simplifies it. It has an app that takes care of it for you, which I think is where we're at now. I mean, AI is growing so fast and I think we're going to rely more on AI to perform more effects for us so we can focus more on storytelling and creativity and have AI do all the hard work like motion tracking, rotoing and stuff like that. So what do you think about AI? Do you think that it's a scary thing that we need to look out for, that it's gonna replace our jobs? Or do you have my point of view where it's actually gonna make our jobs easier so we can get our projects done faster and do things like rotoscoping and and, you know, AI clone trail effects in just a matter of minutes instead of spending hours. So if you want to learn more about the Pupo Pod, I put a link just down below. And if you want to learn more cool effects on the channel, you can just click right over here and you can click over here to check out my store. As always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Whoop.